हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल गुरुमंत्र शिक्षा का ग्रंथ आई एम योर एजुकेटर निधि दुआ एंड आई वॉमली वेलकम यू एट दिस प्लेटफॉर्म सो गाइज इन टूडेज लिखो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर सेक्शन नाइन दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन द केमिस्ट्री ऑफ बायोमोलिक्यूल्स and in today's lecture we will discuss about the amino acids and proteins so without any further delay let's begin our today's topic so first topic is about amino acids if we talk about amino acids these are the organic compounds that contains amine group or you can say amino group that is nh2 group and carboxylic functional group carboxyl group is your cooh group along with a side chain r group r is your alkyl group okay now if you talk about the word protein the word protein is derived from a greek word proteus which is having a meaning like primary or prime importance you know it very well proteins are the very first or you can say has the prime importance in the growth of any body all proteins are polymer of alpha amino acids and these alpha amino acids are the functional unit of proteins if we talk about the structure of amino acids the structure of amino acid should ha have the amino group nh2 group as well as the cooh group that is carboxylic group along with these two group the structure of amino acid has a r side chain r is your alkyl group also the naturally occurring alpha amino acids has the l series of configuration l series of configuration means the lever rotatory configuration now the amino acids are divided into two major parts number one is your non essential amino acids and another one is essential amino acids the amino acids that are synthesized in our body are known as non essential amino acids while that type of amino acids which are required for our body and we can take these kinds of amino acids as of supplement or you can say they must be supplied with our food they must be supplied with our diet these type of amino acids are known as essential amino acids now the properties of amino acids amino acids are generally colorless in nature they are also crystalline solids and they are water soluble amino acids has the high melting point and the amino acids always behaves like a salt why because in the structure of amino acids there is an acidic group known as carboxylic group and a basic group that is amino group is present okay so these amino acids behave like salt rather than simple amines or carboxylic acid due to the presence of both acidic group and basic group in the same molecule now in the aqueous solution of alpha amino acids they exist as a zwitter ion or internal salt or dipolar ion zwitter ion is acidic due to the presence of nh3 plus group and the basic due to the coo minus end okay zwitter ion is acidic due to the presence of positive group that is nh3 plus and this is basic due to the presence of negative group that is coo minus end zwitter ion is less basic than amines and also less acidic than carboxylic acid and zwitter ion is electrically neutral in nature electrical electrically neutral in nature means zwitter ions do not shows 
any magnetic movement or you can say any movement in electrical field. The structure for zwitter ion looks like this. In this structure, as you can see, this is the structure for amino acids. And when amino acids are dissociated in a solution, we will get the structure like this. In the compound that has NH3 plus group and COO minus group acts as a zwitter ion. And this zwitter ion is electrically neutral. Now, in next few slides, we have 20 different kinds of amino acids. And in these 20 different kinds of amino acids, you need to remember the one letter code for each amino acid. This is very important. Okay, so for example, you have your number one amino acid that is glycine. This glycine is represented by a one letter code that is capital G. Okay. Similarly, alanine is represented by capital A. Valine is represented by capital V. Then leucine by L, isoleucine by R, I and arginine by R. So, this is very important to remember that arginine is represented by a capital letter R. Next is lysine. Lysine is represented by the letter K. Then glutamic acid represented by E. Aspartic acid represented by D. Glutamine by Q. Aspergine by N. Threonine by T. And serine by S. Next is cysteine. Cysteine is represented by one letter code that is C. Methionine by M. And phenylalanine by F, tyrosine by Y, tryptophan by W. This is very important. You have to remember this. Tryptophan is represented by the letter W. Histidine by H and proline by P. Now, some special kinds of amino acids. If you talk about the tryptophan, this amino acid, this tryptophan amino acid forms the most complex amino acid and this is very helpful in the synthesis of a plant growth hormone that is known as IAA, indole 3 acetic acid. Second kind of amino acid is tyrosine. Tyrosine helps in the synthesis of melanin pigment. Along with the melanin pigment, this tyrosine is also important in the synthesis of thyroxine hormone as well as the epinephrine and non-epinephrine. Third kind of special amino acids are cysteine and methionine. These two amino acids are known as the sulfur containing amino acid. Next is the aromatic amino acid. Tyrosine, tryptophan and phenylalanine acts as a aromatic amino acids. Next is heterocyclic amino acids. Proline, hydroxyproline and histidine are your heterocyclic amino acids and serine and threonine acts as a alcoholic amino acid means serine and threonine contains a alcoholic group. Now, if you talk about the classification of amino acids, amino acids are classified into three major parts. Number one is acidic amino acid. These kinds of acidic amino acids have one amino and two carboxylic group in their structure. And the example for acidic amino acids are glutamic acid and aspartic acid. Second type is alkaline amino acid. These type of amino acids has two amino and one carboxylic group. Examples are histidine, arginine and lysine. Third kind is neutral amino acid. Neutral amino acids has one amino and one carboxylic group. And these type of neutral amino acids are present in the form of zwitter ion. And 
they do not show any movement in the electric field that's why zwitter ion is always electrically neutral now if you talk about the structure of proteins proteins are the polymer of alpha amino acids which are connected to each other to form peptide bond or peptide linkage by the elimination of water if we talk about the classification of protein we have two major bases on that the proteins are classified number one basis is the molecular shape so on the basis of their molecular shapes proteins are of two types number one is fibrous protein and number two is the globulin protein fibrous proteins are those proteins that have polypeptide chains that are parallelly at attached to each other and held together by the hydrogen and disulfide bonds these fibrous proteins are water insoluble and example of fibrous proteins are keratin and myosin second type is globulin protein as you can see polypeptide chains that are coiled to form a spherical structure are known as globulin proteins and globulin proteins are water soluble example for globulin proteins are insulin and albumin next is the on the basis of structure proteins are of four major types number 1 is primary structure a straight chain of amino acids that are linked by peptide bonds forms the primary structure of protein and the primary structure of protein is the most unstable structure okay now newly formed proteins on ribosomes have the primary structure second type is secondary structure protein molecules of secondary structures are always spirally coiled structures and in secondary structure in addition to peptide bonds amino acids are linked by hydrogen bond formed between oxygen of one amide group and hydrogen of the another amide group proteins of secondary structures are always insoluble in water and forms the fibrous structure or you can say fibrous appearance okay this is the very important point related to the secondary structure now secondary structure is also of two types number 1 is alpha helix and number 2 is beta helix right handed rotation of spirally coiled chain is known as alpha helix this structure has intramolecular hydrogen bonding alpha helix has the intramolecular hydrogen bonding that is between two amino acids of same chain example for alpha helix are keratin myosin and tropomyosin keratin is a fibrous tough and resistant to digestion compound hardness of keratin depends upon the abundance of a amino acid that is cysteine okay second is beta helix or pleated sheet like structure protein molecules that has zigzag structures are known as beta helix and two or more proteins that are held together by intermolecular hydrogen bonding are known as beta helix example for beta helix is your silk third type of structure is tertiary structure if we talk about the tertiary structure these type of structures are highly folded okay to give the globular appearance they are soluble in water and this structure of proteins has following bonds number one type of bonds is peptide bond peptide bonds are the strongest bond found in the protein 
Second kind of bonds is hydrogen bonds. Third is disulfide bond. And these disulfide bonds are found between the SH group of amino acid that is present in the case of cysteine amino acids. And disulfide bonds are the second strongest bond present in the proteins. Third kind of bonds are hydrophobic bonds that are present between the amino acids which have hydrophobic side chain or you can say the aromatic amino acids. Next is ionic bond that is the formation of ionic bond occurs between two opposite ends of protein molecules due to the electrostatic attraction. Fourth type of structure of protein is quaternary structure. This type of quaternary structures are formed by the uni unitation of two or more pe polypeptide chains of tertiary structures. Okay, so two or more polypeptide chains of tertiary structures unite by different type of bonding to form a quaternary structure of proteins and these polypeptide chains may be similar as in case of lactic dehydrogenase or may be dissimilar as in case of hemoglobin or insulin. So these were all about the different types of structures of proteins. Now the significance of the structure of proteins. The most important constituent of animals are proteins. Okay. As you know it very well, proteins are the basic need for the development of a human body or you can say a animal body. And also, this is the very important constituent. Protein forms approximately 15% of the animal protoplasm. This point is very very important. And the physical and biological properties of proteins are dependent upon their secondary and tertiary configuration or you can say the secondary and tertiary structures. Now some special points related to the protein. Basically these are the some kinds of definition which you should know. First of all this is monomeric protein. The protein that are composed of only one polypeptide chains are known as monomeric protein. And the proteins that are composed of more than one polypeptide chains are known as oligomeric, polymeric or multimeric proteins. Third is peptide. A molecule of a short chain of amino acids like dipeptide, tripeptide and tetrapeptide. Also, the polypeptides has usually more than 50 amino acids while a protein should minimum have 50 amino acids or it can carry more than 50 amino acids. So this was all about amino acids and proteins. Now in case if you are new here at our YouTube channel, you can like, share and subscribe. You can also join our telegram channel for more new updates related to your exam and if you have any query you can mail us on Taneja Neha official at the rate gmail.com and also you can contact us on the given number. Now a very important announcement if you are preparing for CSIR UGC net you can follow Neha Taneja ma'am on an academy platform. On an academy platform, you will get daily life classes, structural courses, life test and quizzes and with one subscription, you will get unlimited access. If you are interested, you can go through with this detailed paid classes. While taking these detailed paid classes, you can use referral code NEHA that is N-E-H-A. And after using this referral code, you will get 10% discount on total fee. Thank you very much guys. I hope you all like the video.